It's an honor for me to help pay tribute to the memory and the racing career of Craig Fisher. The driver we all called Fish was a skilled road racer and a great teammate. He became the first Canadian driver to race for our team. He was also part of Team Penske's first ever win in Trans Am. We first became aware of Craig and his talent in the mid-1960s when he was racing in Trans Am with Toronto businessman Terry Gottsall. Craig joined our team for the 1967 Trans Am race at Marlboro Park, and he and Mark Donahue won the pole and then earned our team's first Trans Am race win in a Chevy Camaro. That was a big victory for our young team, and it certainly helped us build some momentum for the next season. Craig came back to race for us next year in 1968 at the 12 Hours of Sebring, and he might be the only driver to finish both first and second in the same race for us. He teamed up with Mark Donahue again in the 12 Hours of Sebring in 1968. They won their class and finished third overall in the Endurance Classic racing a Camaro. But Craig also competed in a second Team Penske entry at Sebring. Mark started the race in number 15, while Craig started the race in number 16 with Joe Welsh and Bob Johnson. Craig then moved over to the race with Mark while the number 16 finished second in class and fourth overall. Craig was an important part of Team Penske. We always kept a close eye on his career after he returned to racing Pontiacs with Terry Gonsol. After his racing career, Craig did a great job focusing on driver education, helping to develop young racers. We're very proud when Craig was inducted into the Canadian Motorsports Hall of Fame in 1997. We always considered him an important part of our team. We will certainly miss Fish, but we will remember and appreciate the good times we had with him. Thank you for hosting this special tribute to his memory. And we are wishing everyone a good weekend there in Mosport.